Hello guys and welcome back to this channel. Today is going to be a new format for this uh, YouTube channel. Today I'm going to make a reaction video. We are going to watch a free diving world record attempt uh, made uh, six, seven years ago by William Winneram. He's a Canadian free diver, like really, really uh, good Canadian free diver. Obviously, he make a world record attempt uh, in a discipline variable weight. So throughout this video, I will try to uh, explain you what is going on and hopefully you will understand a little bit more uh, what does it mean variable weight discipline. And guys, if you like this kind of content, uh, let me know in comments. If you want me explain some other world records, uh, maybe to understand free diving a little bit better. All right, uh, this video is from his channel, from uh, William YouTube channel. So if you want to uh, watch this video without my comments, uh, then you can find the link is going to be in the description. Uh, so in September 2013, Canadian freediver uh, successfully made uh, this dive to the depths of 145 meters. This is an assisted discipline, one of two. Uh, there is a uh, variable weight discipline and no limit discipline. So maybe uh, if you like this video, maybe my next video is going to be no limit discipline. I will explain you what is going on there. Today is going to be variable weights. So just in a couple of words, it means that free diver using one weight on the way down and another weight on the way up. So usually they use some kind of sled on the way down and then uh, ascending by uh, pulling the rope or by kicking. So it means a free diver doing the job on the way up only on the way down. Free diver need to relax completely and equalize, obviously. All right, um, so let's start. Okay, what we see here, uh, free diver is here. Let's make my face a little bit smaller. So this is a um, William here. So I guess this is a device which he gonna use. Uh, here you see the name. Uh, this is the name of the school uh, in Dahab. Uh, the name is Free Diving World. It's actually not in Dahab, it, it is uh, in um, Sharm El Sheikh, I think. And this school ran by famous free diver um, from Italy, uh, Andrea Zuccari. So yeah, this guy is definitely know everything about this assisted discipline. He actually like really deep free diver himself. I think his record about 175 meters. Okay, so this is a, uh, the device. This is a, I guess this is a sled. Um, this is a William who is preparing, uh, drinking some water, stay hydrated. Uh, there is a bunch of safety divers. Here you see another platform, probably for warm up. Um, okay, William using uh, the goggles for this dive. Uh, some people like to dive deep with a mask, but majority free divers prefer to use uh, goggles and nose clip or only nose clip. So William using the goggles. It might be fluid goggles, which uh, filled with a liquid, with a water can be, or it may be hectomer goggles, which just compressing. I couldn't recognize uh, what goggles this is. Okay, uh, so this is a William and this is a platform. This is a called counterbalance system. What does it mean? If big accident happens, if something go completely wrong, uh, then the free diver is still attached to this rope by the line yard. So this is why uh, the safety team is going to be able to uh, start this counterbalance system and the whole rope is going to be pulled out uh, with the free diver. So this is a for uh, extreme bad situation. Okay, William doing his relaxation breathing, his breath up. Uh, you see a bunch of safety divers. You see the camera here in the corner. Okay, now William putting the nose clip. Uh, as I said, uh, some free diver prefer to use the goggles with a nose clip. Uh, some free diver use only nose clip. So William using uh, both. Um, again, remember you could not use normal swimming goggles unless you're going to fill them with the water. So in this case you can. Okay, he put the goggles on. Keep doing his relaxation breathing, his breath up. Okay, he's about, he's about to start. Okay, now what he start doing, uh, he's doing so-called packing technique. Uh, this is a like high level um, 
technique for the high level free diver when they do the final maximum inhale and then using the jaw muscles they push more air inside their lungs and obviously more air have uh, a lot of benefits you can equalize deeper um, and obviously you're going to become uh, you're going to not become hypoxic that soon but primarily deep divers using packing for uh, equalization reason okay so William uh, doing packing and he started so I think there is a, some kind of device uh, whether released by William himself yeah I think by William himself I don't think it's going to be someone who decide okay it's time for him to start okay so he started okay what we see here uh, second before um, what we see here we see William face and you see how how fully inflated his cheeks so this technique we called mouse feel when you feel um, your mouse with air then it's going to be uh, more easy for you to equalize the depths okay this is a line along which William is diving here is the tech divers uh, this is a safety divers in a non-assisted discipline such as free immersion constant weight constant no weight uh, no fins uh, free divers don't use tech divers for the safety however in this discipline at least in 2014 uh, they were still using I'm sure they are still using it now or not okay William going down again you see how fill his cheeks with the air okay you see these bubbles up oh, okay uh, this is a whole device this is the best picture so far in this sled I guess this is a really heavy sled uh, probably William monofin because remember on his way up he need to uh, like use his muscles right he gonna probably pull the rope and using the monofin uh, recently actually he break another world record crazy man uh, by doing kind of same dive but with a bi fins but this one is with a monofin okay he's going down so basically again on the way down he just need to equalize his ears and stay conscious uh, everything else done by gravity so the this sled is heavy just going down what we also can uh, see here this is a balloon and it's attached to the tank if you're gonna watch no limit discipline then this is gonna be uh, how the free divers will come up they're gonna open the tank and then uh, the, the air is gonna inflate the balloon and uh, this system will go up however in his case it is a variable, variable weight uh, discipline so I guess this is a just for emergency case if something will go wrong still bubbles from tech divers Okay, William uh, diving deeper and deeper as you can see crazy good visibility the, the ocean looks so beautiful uh, it's really nice blue color William eyes closed anyway he don't see any okay what we see here so this is a stopper this is the end of the line this is a 145 meters uh, we see still one techno diver here I guess it's really deep techno diver he probably I don't know how deep he is like deeper than 100 meters and again there is a, uh, there's no other techno divers with a camera so I guess it's just a camera attached to some bottom plate Whoop. okay arriving at 145 meters here is a William and and bam he reached it and immediately obviously there is no business for him to stay in there and do anything at 145 meters you want to spend as less time as possible William start his ascent uh, using the monofin technique so you see he using his monofin swimming back up to the surface okay safety diver descending primary safety diver this is what they said in their video as you can see this guy or girl uh, using the underwater scooter because this free diver gonna meet uh, William really deep 
the free diver want to conserve as much energy as possible in case if free diver doesn't uh, just do the safety but also need to do a rescue procedure so this is why free diver use the underwater scooter to conserve his energy to dive as deep as possible without using energy and be able to do a rescue in case of emergency so usually these safety divers they they really good divers themselves uh, so I guess it is a like, really sophisticated diver okay this is a still bottom camera <laughs> we see still techno diver here probably he descending to maybe initiate the system go up not sure okay uh, view from the safety diver I think they're gonna meet soon William where you are where are you where are you William okay we see William so William coming up uh, there is no specification in the video at what depths uh, uh, he's meeting his first safety diver I guess it's like a, at least 50 meters or deeper I don't know like usually it's like 40 meters in other competitions okay now you can also see that he's not only using his monofin but he also use uh, he also pulling the rope this is a technique from free immersion discipline so normally if it is a non-assisted discipline you will see this free diver use only one technique they either do free immersion or they do monofin you could not combine both of them otherwise it's going to be disqualification and your record is not going to be valid however I guess in this discipline in assisted discipline you can ascend by any means right so this is why he's doing uh, he's pulling the rope but also he have a monofin and you're using the monofin okay he's coming up up okay soon is going to be open uh, he is uh, removing his uh, goggles and later I will explain you why okay now you see a bunch of safety divers so these uh, two divers uh, without uh, the underwater scooter so I probably this guy met about 30 meters and this is probably 20 meters so safety diver doesn't touch uh, they don't touch the diver uh, unless they think that okay the free diver lost the conscious okay in this case they're going to grab him and bring to the surface and do the all rescue procedure however if they think that free diver is doing good after 145 meter dives then they don't touch him okay William really close to the surface I guess he's a both hypoxic and uh, have a narcosis he start exhaling before he reach the surface this uh, helping him to avoid lung over expansion and blackout as well okay uh, he grabbed the rope to stay above the water now he's going to need to remove his nose clip and show okay for the judge and since I think okay he said I am okay and then uh, I think uh, this world record was validified and uh, yeah so this is was happy ending so no blackouts no uh, shallow water blackout surface blackout or LMC successful dive uh, I guess white cards later so really successful dive again this is not the new world record it is from 2014 I'm not sure if it's still the record or not however like I recently saw in Facebook that William did another world record but with a bifins so crazy deep Canadian freediver uh, congratulations even if this video is already like seven years old okay guys uh, hopefully now you understand a little bit uh, more what is a variable weight uh, how the competition uh, in this discipline looks like it's not that much popular anymore because as you can see it requires a lot of safety divers and equipment so this is why it's not as uh, it's not as popular as non-assisted discipline okay guys this is it uh, if you like such videos as I said I'm gonna do a couple of more to showing uh, different other disciplines and what is going on there give my some some of my feedback about what is going on with such uh, diving guys if you want to support this channel there is now option of becoming a member so you just joining the membership it's going to be small membership fee um, tiny one just a few dollars so yeah if you want to do it 
uh, you are more than welcome. I will highly appreciate it. And guys, one more time, thank you for watching this video till the end and I will see you next time.